So this is what I uh, came up with. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. It's a uh, 1947 Ampro speaker cabinet that I uh, put the amp in. And I recovered it. Now let me take off the back and let me show you the amp. some light on that all right so the uh, amp was made out of a precision signal generator um, I used um, most of the components out of it uh, all the two bases the transformer the power transformer that is uh, the knobs the dial indicators and the uh, input jack uh, lettering. I know it says RF and so do the, the volume and this is a negative feedback circuit with a uh, on off it just bypasses it. The cabinet originally came with a Jensen speaker and um, it wasn't any good so this is actually out of a Hammond organ and it worked out pretty well so I used uh, a lot of the components of the signal generator uh, I use a lot of uh, original wiring uh, a lot of old resistors and the values were still good I bought uh, pretty decent capacitors um, uh, I changed the value of the first one to 16 microfarads and I left the two additional ones at 10. Um, the, I use a 5691 preamp tube which uh, draws a lot of current and uh, I didn't know what to do because this, this transformer uh, wasn't putting out enough in the 6 volt range and I just happened across a, uh, a little filament transformer which put out exactly uh, enough to power the one tube which is about 600 uh, milliamps and uh, yeah it worked out pretty good alright so the amp is on and I'm just playing through a Telecaster I'll just play a little bit to show you some of the tones or the tone control. range. Um, volume's only on three. So if you, you turn it up uh, some, you know, it, it breaks up fairly well. It's it's not a 12 ax 7 but um, you know, it does it does break up. Okay. 